Hello and welcome to another edition of Paranormal Activity and Mysterious Stories. In this video, I want to show you an interesting article I found on the Daily Star about UFO hotspots in the U.S. and uh, UFO hotspots in, in the U.K. I thought uh, this was kind of interesting, so um, let's just get right into it. UFO sighting hotspots in the U.S. shared with unexplained lights spotted. The number of unidentified flying object sightings across North America has been charted and ranked by both state and cities, with the most common sighting said to be mysterious lights or triangles. You know, I bet you a lot of these um, sightings are probably U.S. military technology. But uh, anyways, let's go here. A study has revealed UFO sighting hotspots in the U.S. with unexplained lights and triangle shapes most commonly reported. Thousands of Americans have reported seeing everything from circles, fireballs, discs, spheres, snake-like UFOs, cigars and cylinders, chevrons, eggs, and cones over a hundred-year period. Again, over a 100-year period, people have been seeing these strange objects and like i've said in many of my other videos i don't think that people have been seeing these things for this long because these beings are just visiting um from my understanding our scientists have only explored or have explored less than five percent of our world's oceans which means there's a whole lot of space out there for a lot going on that we don't know what's happening. So isn't it possible that, you know, uh, uh, several, if not you know, one or more civilizations could be living deep in our oceans? And they could have been living in there for thousands of years because, you know, I mean, go back and look at some of my other videos. We, when I say we humans, have been seeing these objects for a long time. So anyways, uh, not all states can be the favorite holiday destination of extraterrestrial life form, but California ranks first. The research was carried out by the Insight team at True People Search, an online people searching service who calculated sightings based of per 1,000 population. The U.S. company carried out an analysis of the National UFO Reporting Center's database as staggering 80,000 unidentified flying objects reports from 1910 to 2014 in the U.S. and Canada. 80,000. Now, of course, all of those aren't going to be, you know, quote-unquote alien craft. Definitely a lot of those... Um, are going to be like weather phenomenon or, you know, some other type of natural, natural explanation or natural phenomenon that could be explained. Uh, the UFO Reporting Center was set up in 1974, the nonprofit center, to create a public database of what it terms objective UFO data. It also offers an online forum and telephone hotline to report sightings. The state with the most UFO sightings overall through the 104-year period was California, with 10,450 reported sightings from 1910 to 2014. The tiny historic town boasts only about 2,000 permanent residents, but has an unusually high amount of UFO reports, 1,193.89 UFO sightings for every 100,000 residents, true people said. Of the other top 10 UFO sighting locations, none of them were major cities. West Seattle topped the list of major cities with 620 sightings, more than double second place Phoenix, Arizona. Jacksonville, Florida was the only other eastern U.S. city in the top 10, falling just one sighting shy of Charlotte's overall total. According to the study, lights have been reported to move in weird patterns, flash, appear, and disappear, display in a formation, and more. While some lights can be explained as an aircraft originating from Earth, a meteor, or satellite, some reports have remained shrouded in mystery. 
The study's authors said there was no way to definitively separate the hoaxes from the real UFO sightings, adding, but it's our theory that a higher frequency of sightings correlates with a higher percentage of reports from people who believe they have genuinely seen something in the sky that they cannot explain, a UFO. It comes as the U.S. Defense Department announced plans to launch a task force to investigate UFOs this month. Meanwhile, in May this year, the UK's UFO hotspots were similarly revealed following a Freedom of Information request. Reports came in from more than 56 places across England as well as areas of Scotland, Wales, and even the Channel Islands. According to the Freedom of Information request lodged by Fresh Student Living, the UK's capital, London, is the top spot for seeing unexplained flashing lights. So now let's check out. Oh yeah, but let's hear. Let's top UFO spotting locations per 100,000 people. Number one is Gila Bend, Arizona, with uh, 1,193.89. Uh, second is California, someplace called Houston. I didn't know there was a Houston in California. Uh, number three is Surfside Beach, South Carolina. Number four is Sedona, Arizona. Number five is, is Sonora, California. Number six is Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Number seven is Cummings, Georgia. Number eight, Ocean City, Maryland. Number nine, North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And number 10, Lincoln City, Oregon. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. They got this uh, Houston, B.C. I don't know where that is. Okay, now the Brits. Brit UFO secrecy exposed in new map of hotspots after years of secrecy. The RAF's classified sightings of unidentified flying objects in Britain have been exposed, and a Freedom of Information request has put London at the top spot. You see, think about this, man. We've all known, but for years and years, the, the government has been lying to us, telling us, no, there's nothing out there. No, they're not researching anything. Um, and, you know, we come to find out, yes, they have been. And, you know, now the same people who have been lying to us for years and years um, aren't telling us everything. They're not telling us the complete truth. They're still in control of the, inf of the information and they're still um, letting us know only what they want us to know. But anyways, uh, classified sightings of UFO in Britain have finally been revealed thanks to a freedom of information request. The UK government once invested a lot of time, money and manpower into tracking UFO sightings. The Royal Air Force was in charge for keeping the records and would submit them to the National Archive every year. But the UFO wing of the RAF was shut down after 50 years in 2009 when it was concluded that there was no evidence of a potential threat from extraterrestrials. You see, they concluded there wasn't a threat, but they never said that extraterrestrials or what they're calling extraterrestrials didn't exist. They just realized that um, that they weren't, at, at least at the, that's what they're claiming, that they're not a national threat. But, you know, I mean, we know that a lot of times these crafts would go to our nuclear facilities and shut down our nu the, you know, the nuclear weapons. So, yes, they had to have been a threat. Again, this is, yeah, this is more um, subterfuge and, you know, trying to control the narrative. The archive has now been released, and skeptic or not, the records show the top UK hotspots for spotting unidentified flying objects. It details over 626 sightings from across the UK from 1959 to 2009. Reports came in from more than 56 places across England, as well as areas of Scotland, Wales, and even the Channel Islands. According to the Freedom of Information request lodged by Fresh Student Living, the UK's capital London is the top spot for seeing unexplained flashing lights. 
In one year, the capital had 54 strange sightings compared to the next hotspot, Kent, which saw 30 in a year. One London sighting was an object with a white and alternating red lights at an angle which came from southeast London towards Canary Wharf and stopped in midair. While in Kent, there was a sighting of two objects five minutes apart heading east to west, which looked like orange fiery balls but made no sound. Derbyshire had 24 sightings, whereas Lancashire and Essex both had 22 sightings in a year. The graphic included was created by Fresh Living to map all the different sightings reported by a variety of different people. It claims sightings have been reported by air traffic control employees, pilots, police officers, and journalists. The most common time to see a UFO is between 8 p.m. and 1 a.m. in the morning. While London takes the top spot, the Midlands is also a hot spot with over 109 sightings between counties Warwickshire, Derbyshire, and Lincolnshire. In 2020, YouGov survey, one in five Brits said they believe it's likely aliens currently live on Earth, whereas 65% say it's not likely and 15% are undecided. Wow. One in five Brits said they believe it's likely aliens currently live on Earth. Yeah, well, uh, I'm not a Brit, but I'm definitely one of those five that think several different highly advanced alien species actually uh, live in areas of this planet that we don't occupy. And you know what? I would, I would, I definitely believe that um, there are people within our government, you know, if they're not themselves, the aliens, but yeah, there has to be people in high levels of government that, that know this, you know, and uh, it's their job to keep a lid on it for, for whatever reason we're not supposed to know. But uh, I'm a firm believer that all of these UFO reports that we've been seeing or that we've been hearing about, you know, for the last 50 years now, you know, based on all of this evidence, our governments have been studying them for a long time. Um, I've s seen documents that you know people have put um have compiled that show that there were sightings that go back 2000 years or more so yeah these things aren't visiting these things are already here on earth and um i think they monitor us but uh that's going to be it for this video if you like things like this please give this video a thumbs up Please share this video, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I have more things like this. Take care.